an 11 billion dollar 1225 kilometer pipeline linking Russia with Germany across the Baltic seabed Nord Stream 2 is on schedule for completion next year it is a private project backed by energy giants such as Shell and Russian state-owned Gazprom, among others. But it also has the strong backing of Berlin and Moscow. We support the implementation of this project, which is undoubtedly absolutely free from politics. This is a purely economic and, moreover, purely commercial project. Many Eastern European states say Europe should not be engaged in big business with President Putin. Some of the most vocal critics are Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, whose foreign ministers met with Secretary of State Rex Tillerson in Washington last week. Security these days is increasingly indivisible. I mean, it's, there's no clear division between internal and external security and, and, and also, I think, uh, geographically. The United States opposes Nord Stream 2, having already sanctioned Russian companies over Moscow's annexation of Crimea and foreign companies involved in Russian energy exploration. So far, those sanctions don't affect Nord Stream 2. Many Eastern European countries also fear the new pipeline won't benefit them economically. There could be bottlenecks for Central Europe and Eastern Europe, and those places could see prices rise and they might be more exposed to a Russian political gas cutoff. Ukraine would lose about $2 billion a year in transit fees. The European Commission also opposes Nord Stream 2, but says there are no legal grounds to block it. The EU hopes to mitigate the risk by investing in connecting pipelines across European borders. The goal is a sort of Brazilian gas market where gas flows freely across borders. For two years, Ukraine hasn't bought any gas from Russia. Instead, they buy gas Russian gas usually, indirectly, from Western European traders like Germany, like the Dutch. So if the European gas market was in a strong enough state and if Europe was more energy efficient and used less gas, Russian or otherwise, Russia wouldn't be able to meddle or use gas as a weapon ever again. Poland and Lithuania, both vehemently opposed to Nord Stream 2, have built terminals for liquefied natural gas, or LNG. The United States wants to boost its LNG exports to Europe. Those against Nord Stream 2 hope that a diversified supply will help reduce Russia's ability to use gas as a political weapon. Henry Richwell for VOA News, London.